This beautiful baby bimbo reached out to me and let me know that she is starting to offer exclusive personal readings and spells to really bring people into their newest stage of glow up. And obviously I had to get one for myself. They are extremely in depth and she is very, very professional. It's just a PDF page, so it's very not invasive. But yes, I highly recommend that you check her out. Here's all of her information now. Woo, let's get right into the video. Yay! Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. Today is going to be all about what kind of bimbo are you? What makes you so attractive, so alluring? What gets so many people's attention all the time because you guys are just so hot? Anyways, that's what the reading is about. Stay tuned as we are going to be doing just a little springtime meditation to bring us all forward into this new, beautiful, exciting energy, a time full of change, reconstruction, reevaluation of your surrounding, who is all around you who deserves your time still in your energy and all of that beautiful stuff so yes we are going to be doing a very positive and uplifting meditation here in a few seconds but for those of you who want to skip ahead this is pile number one two three four and five but for those of you sticking around Let's go on ahead and get started with our three deep breaths. In for four, two, three, four. Holding for seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And out for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Another deep breath in for four, two, three, four. Hold for seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and out for eight. Slowing down your breathing and eight. Another nice deep breath on your own time, making this one even slower even deeper really breathing into your stomach holding it and releasing with all negativity all negative thoughts you may hear a ghost in the background here a cat but make sure if you are ever feeling distracted to bring your attention right back to your breathing as it will center your energy. Another nice deep breath in for me, breathing in the new spring air, bringing in new experiences, opportunities, abundance, and releasing all of the past, the winter, everything that has died and gone away releasing releasing can breathing in more opportunities abundance beautiful blossoming spring energy and exhaling all negativity negative thinking limiting beliefs releasing, releasing. Breathing in again for me, all abundance, positive thinking, and opportunities flowing so easily to you, just as easily as you are breathing. And again, exhaling, releasing all negativity, all of the limiting beliefs, everything that is no longer serving your highest and best good. Keep focusing on your breathing here, deeper, 
larger breaths, more abundance flowing to you, more opportunities, deeper and deeper. Allowing the opportunities to beat with your heart all throughout your body, every single inch, allowing new opportunities, washing away of all previous negativities. Keep breathing. Great job. Beautiful job releasing everything. Take a moment now to think ahead to one month in the future. Where do you see yourself? Who are you hanging around? What have you let go of? What have you integrated that is new and exciting? What new beautiful habits have you adopted? How are you feeling confidence-wise, happiness-wise? Where is your mentality sitting? Now I want you to think about different baby steps, different ways, different opportunities that could be flowing your way to help you move forward into this new month. Just allow your intuition to really take the lead here. Focus on your breathing and allow all thoughts to easily flow through your mind releasing any expectations, just allowing these beautiful, positive opportunities, new ways of thinking, baby steps that you could be taking to flow in. Bringing your focus back to your breathing. Now we are shifting to a year from now. We are flying into the future. One year from now, where are you? And remember how quickly and how easily your life can drastically change. Think about where you are, what you're wearing, who you're seeing, who you're around. Did you attract that house that you've always wanted? Or maybe a new pet? Where are you career-wise? What are you driving? What are you eating? Where are you mentally?
just remembering to draw your focus back to your breathing. Allowing all opportunities, any intuitive thoughts to just flow your way as to how you can take baby steps to being where you are to a year from now. Breathing in all positivity, all of the luck of the universe, all of the riches and the wealth, it's all already yours. Exhaling all limiting beliefs, all negativity, and really allowing your mind to open up here to all intuitive, intuitive possibilities. deep breaths in here, breathing in all of the riches and the luck of the universe, inhaling as much as you can with every breath, deeper and deeper into your stomach, and exhaling all negativity, all past affiliations, everything that is no longer serving you. As we are now in this beautiful present moment, full of opportunity, full of new blessings, miracles, lots of new beautiful, beautiful things being flooded your way. More deep breaths in for me. Breathing in, breathing in. And releasing. You are so lucky. Say it with me. I am so lucky. Repeat after me as well. I am full of blessings. I am full of new opportunities. Life is blessing me with so much abundance. full of new possibilities and new opportunities. I am so happy and content with where I am right now. I am confident in my beautiful future. My present is equally as beautiful. My life is full of new opportunities. 
I am surrounded by positivity and very influential friends. I am ambitious and achieve every goal I go after. I am undefeated. I am powerful. Great job, you guys. Start to blink your eyes open. Take another nice deep breath in for me. Beautiful, beautiful job, you guys. You are on a whole nother level now. Wow, <laughs> that's so exciting. Keep blinking your eyes open, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes, and let's get right into today's reading. This is pile number one, two, three, four, and five. I will give you all a moment to choose. Woo! Alrighty, let's go on ahead and get started with pile number one. Woohoo! Alrighty, hello to those of you who chose pile number one, this beautiful amethyst crystal. This is going to be your reading all about 
what kind of bimbo are you what makes you so alluring bewitching attractive and especially with the menage a trois third party you guys could be into polyamorous relationships but it does not have to be as this is a general reading but especially with the third party like menage a trois definitely makes me think of the three of cups card like life of the party vibes you guys definitely know how to bring the party you know how to f have fun in every single aspect of life they're showing me like it's really interesting. Okay, I, I picked up that some of you guys might have like ADD. You might like to do two things at once because I literally saw somebody like knitting and watching like Netflix or like doing something like that. You guys just really know how to fill every single second of your life with complete joy and excitement. And that made a little ding here. So you guys could definitely be into musical instruments, making music as well. Just sort of, um, yeah, or or listening to music too. When you guys like are cooking, I love to listen to like Italian music, like whenever I'm cooking because it literally makes me feel like I'm so special, like I'm such a pro chef. Like I literally know what I'm doing in the kitchen <laughs> and it's just so fun. But yeah, I definitely see that you guys could be really, really good at just kind of adding the spice to life, like not making things so bland. You know how to spice up every single situation, make things very fun. Um, you might be the type of person that likes to go out as well, go out with friends, party, live your life up. Um, oh my God, what is that saying? Oh, it's like young. We're good. <laughs> what the fuck am I thinking of? Oh my god, but it's like, it's like, it's like, like we're gonna die young by Kesha, but it's sort of bad. It's not like that though. It's sort of like this um existential view of life where it's like, well, if I'm gonna die someday, I might as well have a little bit of fun here. I might as well like add a little bit of extra indulgence here, add a little bit of extra skincare treatments, just like everything. Like you guys just know how to spice up every single little teeny tiny aspect of your life. And I think that's so beautiful. Yeah, they're even showing me like being creative, like coloring and really taking your time to fill in every single section and make sure that it looks just so beautiful and so perfect, but also just enjoying the moment, maybe watching a movie while you're doing that. Like it's very like spice of life. Ooh, and then we have the living legend for your Britney card. So that's absolutely hot. I mean, obviously you guys are very legendary. I see that you guys are very risk taking. You're able to take risks, try new things, especially with like the adventurous side of you guys. Like I just see that you guys are very down to travel. You guys could be getting a lot of opportunities when it comes to travel coming up here in your life as well, especially if you haven't got that for a very long time or maybe you've just had that travel bug but you just haven't had the time or the money. Like I definitely see that there could be some extra finances coming your way that you guys could be putting towards a vacation or putting towards time to travel or um, maybe putting towards like a nice dinner for yourself at a new restaurant that is of like a different culture or something that you've never experienced before. Like I definitely just see that you guys are very into new experiences, adventures, taking risks and really making your life legendary. Like something that the grandkids will talk about. Like, oh my gosh, remember when my grandma, like, you know how you kind of like when you were a kid, like you definitely bragged about what your relatives did. Um, in the past, yeah, like I'm thinking um, one of my favorites is that one of my great grandfathers actually went down in multiple airplanes and survived like multiple airplane crashes. So it is possible and he did it. But yeah, so definitely like I feel like you guys are just really wanting to make this lifetime something legendary and not just like one or two of those experiences like you guys are definitely like I see that you could be just creating this life so you can tell these stories in the future to your grandkids or to your kids or whatever to your pets or write down in a journal and publish it like secretly to the world just so that way people know like you really did live a life that is worth telling like a life that is worth these stories like in the future yeah I don't know if you guys have ever seen that channel. It's called For the Grandkids, but it's super, super, super cool. He just does a bunch of really ridiculous, cool shit just to show people that A, it's possible, and that B, especially for his kids in the future, that way they can kind of like live off of his example, which I think is so cool. I'm gonna read a little bit more about this living legend just to make sure that I am not missing anything. <clears throat> Yeah, she changed the prop landscape forever. So true. Britney really did. 
Um, yeah, influenced and inspired generations of pop stars to come. The living legend in all her glory is a symbol of celebration and acknowledging your many fabulous achievements. Yes. And I feel like this is such a great time too to kind of like reflect on everything that you guys have already achieved, everything that you guys have already done in your life and the fact that you guys are already so successful. It's just something to really celebrate and to really just look back on and say, okay, well, here are some of the things. Yeah, they're also showing me that maybe you guys want to start writing down your life, like actually journaling it, maybe starting your own autobiography, writing it out like on a computer, maybe not journaling it because you know you're going to lose that shit, but like keeping it on like a Google Doc or something that you can just access years and years and years to come and just keep adding to until you have this beautiful autobiography, something that maybe would help your kids out in the future or younger generations to come anybody that stumbles upon it this could definitely be my writers or again my musicians people that want to sort of encapsule their life in beautiful music as well which i think is so cool let's keep going here so yes we have fidelity loyalty marriage growth i definitely feel like for this group like the bimbos in this group are so like about growing and moving forward and you know, learning from every single experience and taking things with a grain of salt and really like, yeah, fidelity, loyalty. Um, yeah, proving yourself to be loyal in many different ways to people that genuinely have your highest and best intentions and that you have their highest and best intentions as well. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, you guys might get like dreams where, uh, like you can kind of see or predict the future as well. So look out for that. Maybe pay attention to your dreams. Dreams might be something that you guys want to write down as well. They're very reflective of growth. I've had multiple dreams. Actually, you guys, like dreams are one of the best ways you like your spirit guides can get in touch and in tune with you because when you're unconscious, your frontal lobe isn't really picking up anything. So your subconscious can sort of just roam free and sort of like um, have all these intuitive downloads. So you might notice that a lot of dreams actually in weird small ways come true. So it's not always like a reflection of like, oh my God, like this person is killing me in a dream. Like they're murdering me. That means that they're gonna kill me in real life. No, no, no. Like normally it's like, okay, well, they might be like killing me in a dream, which means they might be like, just like cutting me off or it might be time to like cut this person off or sort of like let the death of this happen, you know? Like the sort of like interpretations that you do of tarot cards, you know? The same way with your dreams. Like there are some like very literal things, but there are also some very like figurative and interpretive things. So yeah, definitely look into that though. You guys could definitely uh, benefit from investing in a dream journal. Dream journaling could definitely be something that you guys could maybe want to uh, publish in the future too, but also just like maybe just keep to yourself so you can reference it or see how it reflects in the future. And that might help you kind of like fine tune those little details as well but yes let's keep going we have the four of swords so this group definitely knows how to take your time to rest take your time to rejuvenate your energy and especially pull your time away from people that like don't really deserve it yeah i'm seeing that like you guys might like to go out you guys might like to party you know might like to live your life up have fun but you also know when to like okay let's re let's relax let's recuperate let's rejuvenate let's pull into ourselves and really just yeah, like figure this out, figure out our next steps, figure out where we're going and just really appreciate how far we've come thus far. Like I definitely just see this beautiful like duality and especially in this four of swords energy, like you guys are so patient with yourselves. You're patient with, you know, your growth as well, which you should be. Um, especially being this legend because legends make mistakes. Legends, everybody has those days, you know, nobody's perfect as we like to say, but yeah, like even legends do, even people who are legendary in this lifetime have made a plethora of mistakes. You know, we're all just human at the end of the day, but it's how you recuperate. It's how you regenerate from that. And it's how you keep moving forward. That really makes the biggest and keyest differences that really makes um, the biggest impacts in your life too. Yeah, I just wanted to have like a cute little snake card for you guys as well, just to kind of show that like, like, look at this, like, that's like a boa constrictor, you know, and Britney Spears did kind of the same thing. Um, oh, okay, they flipped it over. 
Lucky Snakes. Ooh, okay, so that's really interesting. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it, they totally just flipped that over for me. And then I read Lucky Snakes, yeah. So you guys could absolutely be very, very, very lucky individuals. You could attract a lot of luck. And um, even though you guys might be seeing this and you're like, what? Like, dig witch, I work for everything. Like, uh, there is no luck here, but my pot is empty. But other people absolutely see you as a very, very, very lucky individual. Actually, seeing yourself as a more lucky individual, too, I feel like will only call in more of that beautiful, lucky energy and just kind of prove to you guys just how lucky and how easily things can manifest to you, to you if you kind of let the universe do some of that work for you as well which I feel like is definitely something that this group has absolutely been learning over the years and trying to master, especially with that Four of Swords energy, is just allowing yourself that time to relax. Especially, if, um, because I just remembered, like, I mentioned that you might have ADD, like, right at the beginning of this, or I don't know if I said that, but that's kind of what I was picking up. Um, but you guys could definitely, especially when people who have ADD, like, sit down and, like, really just, like, okay, we're gonna watch this movie, like, that is challenging because you always feel like you're wasting time or you always feel like you have something better to do or there's some other task that you should be working on right now. But, you know, it's all about a learning process in this group of, okay, yeah, there are other things that I need to be doing right now, but relaxing and rejuvenating is equally, equally beneficial to my mental health, to my stress levels, to you know everything to to the process to the like to your life as it is like doing something else or you know completing another task or whatever like it's very 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 important that you guys are allowing yourself that space to unwind and detach and um yeah unwind detach and breathe <laughs> okay but we have <clears throat> for your last little card here a little bit of advice or just what your angels really wanted you to know right now especially being a bimbo in this beautiful beautiful day and age um keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you so yes even the bimbos of the world even the people who are hypersexual even the people who want to dress slutty your angels your ancestors still walk and stand behind you as a matter of fact they empower you because they want you to inspire generations and generations to come to really just be comfortable and authentic in themselves, which I feel like you guys just do such a beautiful job of. And especially with the you are not alone, like you have a lot of people around you that love you, that respect you. And even during these periods of stagnancy, even during these periods of time of rejuvenation, it does not mean that you are any less successful or that you are any less abundant. If anything, you are equally as abundant. The abundance is just coming from you rather than from your surroundings. And so, you know, it's not always so much of a material thing. Um, but spiritually, like you guys are growing and growing and growing and growing, even if sometimes the relaxing makes it feel like it's, you know, the slowest process in the world. But yeah, I'm seeing like a moonflower blossom. I just learned about moonflowers. <clears throat> I'm playing this game called Wildflowers. It's so fun, you guys. Oh my God. If you love The Sims, if you love Farmville, if you love witchcraft, like you will love Wildflowers. Like it's such a good game. It's LGBTQ plus. It's so cute. Oh my God, I love it. Okay. Anyways, I discovered this flower and it's called a moonflower and it only blossoms at dusk. It only blooms at nighttime. And I just think that that's such a beautiful and wonderful thought because some people are very much so night creative. Some people get their best ideas when they're in their resting state, you know? When they're sleeping, when they're dreaming, sometimes you get your best ideas. When you're in the shower, when you are just kind of empty-minded watching a movie, sometimes that's when you get your best ideas. And so that's why rest is so important because it also allows our divine a chance to sort of take over too. You are not alone during these periods. You are not just by yourself during these periods you are still growing you are still doing things okay trust me but you are just kind of allowing yourself that space to relax and to kind of enjoy your time and your energy and be content more content with your time on this planet it's fine to slow things down sometimes life goes by so fast you might as well take the opportunities you can to slow it the fuck down <laughs> you know which i know that kind of went off on 
a different angle there, but it's definitely something that you guys needed to hear. But let's move into Bimbo Beats featuring me, the Dick Witch. Let's shuffle this and see what messages come up for y'all today. We have Burr, okay, by Kim Petras. Yeah, so you guys might maybe feel like you come off a little, oh my god, my voice totally just wavered there too. So yeah, this could definitely be something that makes you guys anxious. It's maybe like the fear of missing out or feeling like you're being too cold or too mean to people whenever you sort of need your space or need your time. But in reality, like you have to be warm to yourself too, you know, like you definitely have to be warmed up to yourself and able to give yourself what you need. Also, it's not just all about other people all the time. Um, yeah, can you work for me, baby, like Pilates? I'm gonna do my fitness every day. Ooh, so you guys could definitely be on your fitness game, working out, or maybe getting more into working out and being more respectful of yourself too <clears throat> when it comes to your workout as well. So not being so harsh on yourself whenever you don't do it one day, but being more like open and like, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna be happy whenever I do get to it. Yeah, and like, I also just watched this video too that was all about, um, what is it, self, uh, self, discipline that's it and how self-discipline does not work how you actually should be finding like the perfect time of the day or the perfect method of working out kind of like how i talked about with pole dancing like i love pole because i can literally just like jump on it whenever i need to i don't have to go to a gym i don't have to see anybody i can just do it at my house i can just have fun but my other method is also hiking i love hiking i love getting outside and getting in nature i feel like it's a double whammy for me you know because i can you know, get in my nature time and get in my exercise and get in tune with the universe and pump some iron. Like, it's just like the perfect sort of match mesh up for me. And it's still working out. It's still fitness. It's still exercise. It's just a different kind, but at least you're working out. You know, it's just kind of those, those little things here and there, especially when it comes to fitness and being more forgiving with yourself and more patient with yourself too, because it's not always going to be something that you guys can get right into. Like it takes time and it takes dedication but also it takes the right kind and the right kind of energy but yeah um i also was just like <laughs> touching my titties so you guys might have really really nice titties by the way that's the kind of bimbo that you are the nice titty bimbo <laughs> okay but anyways i love you guys so much i'm praying that this brought you all some clarity and i'll see y'all very very soon okay Alrighty, hello to those of you who chose pile number two, this gorgeous raw quartz crystal. I'm already getting that you guys are so authentic, like literally so authentic. Everything that you guys go through, you might like have a little channel or like a TikTok or something where you guys kind of talk about your experiences and <clears throat> like it really, really, really genuinely helps other people. Like, I just want to say that, like, there has been multiple occasions where you guys have highly impacted or influenced somebody or actually a lot of people's life due to your authenticity and due to um, maybe some of the things that you have been through, even if you haven't talked about them. Like, people just know that you've been through them. <clears throat> and you've still sort of risen to the occasion. Um, <clears throat> So sorry, throw chakra blockages here. Yeah, I feel like this group in particular could have had a rough upbringing when it came to being able to be authentic, being able to speak your truth. Like you guys could have felt very sheltered, could have felt very um, unable to be yourself, unable to, uh, like maybe you guys were yourself, but you just didn't really like fit in very well. Like it just, it felt like, yeah, a lot of, in a lot of ways, like maybe you guys like lost your voice or like just weren't able to really feel heard. Maybe you guys went quiet. You sort of ret retracted back into yourselves and sort of just kind of bubbled yourself for a very long time. Um, and I feel like just now or like over the course of like maybe the past couple of years, if you guys have been into spirituality, whenever you guys have started your spiritual journey, <clears throat> You guys have really started to realize that it's your it's your authenticity that actually empowers the most people. It's your authenticity. It's your voice. It's the way that you speak out. It's the way that you you know are like I want to say like act. What is this like activist? Like that's it. Like the way that you guys are like activists or very progressive or just trying to help the majority of people like is 
unmatched. Like it's it's so cool the fact that you are attracted to this channel and the fact that you guys like genuinely are doing something to help this planet. Like thank you. <laughs> number one, thank you so much for being drawn to this channel. But number two, thank you for your service. <laughs> number three, okay, literally two. You guys could literally like be in the military too. But um, but yeah, like you guys are just very progressive, and I feel like for the sake of the majority of humanity you know like you guys are very yeah and again you might have felt like sheltered you might have felt like your voice was never meant to be heard but the second that you started speaking out you started to gain more confidence and you started to realize that the people that were speaking against you were like just kind of bad energy like I literally just saw like black energy <laughs> it's so interesting like they literally just never had good intentions never had pure intentions yeah but especially with this reflective epiphanies, like this group is so spiritually aligned. This group is so spiritually moving forward. Like you guys are forward thinkers. You guys are, you know, the problem solvers of the world, the inventors, the um, architects I just heard, like the people that literally build up this world and like know how to kind of like make it change and beautiful and better and better and better ways and especially when it comes to like this reflective epiphany side too like i feel like you guys have been put through so much that it's just sort of caused this empathetic side of you to be released you know like you guys are definitely empaths and i feel like again you've been through so much but it's only to help you empathize with other people and to help you kind of um want to change the world and want to make the world a better place. I'm also seeing a more green place too. So you guys could definitely be into environmentalism, being progressive when it comes to environmentalism, being an environmentalist, which I think is so important. You guys know that us bimbos, especially, we care about the planet. We care about flowers. We care about bees. We care about butterflies, especially. Oh my God, butterflies, come on. Um, so yeah, like you guys are definitely big environmentalists. I see that you guys could own huge gardens. You could garden in the future. Um, you could be starting your first garden this year. It is spring. Um, I'm actually starting my very first garden this year. So we're going to see how it works out. Um, I'm going to have a video kind of series on in the future to help you guys also get started with your first gardens. Um, cause I took a gardening class, actually two of them because I was so bad. Oh my god, I was so bad. I didn't even get sprouts to start the first one and then the second one I underwatered and overwatered my plants on multiple occasions. So they didn't do so well. But yes, third time's a charm, all right? Okay. But yeah, definitely for this group, I see you guys could have like a beautiful, beautiful green thumb. Some of you guys that's actually undiscovered too. Like some of you guys maybe have um, had bad experiences with plants and then just never really giving yourself the opportunity again. Yeah, because I'm especially seeing like if you do find yourself to be like quite a bit of an underwater and overwater, actually gardening outside might be the best thing for you <laughs> because the earth rains too, you know, like the earth rains and like also waters things for you. But yeah, I feel like this could all kind of be leading up to this beautiful epiphany that you guys are having too when it comes to like your life and your goals and everything. Like what you water, you know, grows. What you put your energy towards grows. And so you guys have definitely been on this mad journey of self-confidence, self-discovery, self-assurance, no longer looking to other people to assure you, but being assured in yourself and realizing that, you know, like you guys know what's best for you because you are you <laughs> and that other people don't always have you know our best intentions at heart which a lot of people actually do too so yeah i feel like it's a lot to do with you guys like unshelling yourself de-shelling and allowing yourself to really step out into this beautiful world and shine and especially when it comes to being a leader in environmental change you know like you guys could absolutely be leaders in environmental change like all it takes is one person i'm just hearing like um uh make a wave by the disney channel you know like when all those artists got together and they said like uh butterfly wings can set off a hurricane and storm the weds away yes or whatever <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting though. Like you guys, like your butterfly wings set off a revolution, you know? Like I'm even seeing like Renaissance festivals. Like you guys could be very into like Renaissance festivals, just like nature, being like a fairy. I'm just seeing like you guys are very into just like 
you guys are like the fairies of the environment you know like i don't know if you guys have ever seen like pixie hollow but it's a movie all about like fairies and how they change the seasons and how each one of them does their own little cute little quirky thing like one of them works with water one of them um tinkerbell she tinkers and she builds different um machines and mechanics kind of help with society one of them plants flowers and paints the flowers like they all kind of do their own unique individual things that help the environment in their own ways um i'm seeing that this group could absolutely own your own businesses as well but like make them very environmentally friendly that you guys are definitely inventors ceos like i'm seeing you guys could be on shark tank for some things that are green initiative like you guys or even not even green initiative related something like you guys could literally just be an inventor of something go on shark tank and then just have very environmentally friendly eco-friendly practices yes i almost just like threw my crystal there too so yeah just always staying grounded especially going back to your roots and remaining empathetic i feel like will always help you guys along your journey but let's keep going here wow this has already been so long and i was literally just on the first card okay we have the lucky star oh my gosh i am so lucky i'm so lucky say that with me bitches i'm so lucky i'm so lucky because you guys are very very lucky especially if you guys are moving in ways that are progressive and moving in ways that work with mother nature you guys are going to be significantly rewarded like the universe wants to reward you the universe wants to cheer you on especially when it comes to you know situations of like the environment and your own garden and everything like the universe really 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 wants you to succeed so i think that's so beautiful and this group especially is very very lucky i see that you guys much like britney spears and this could be award winners nobel prize winners really revolutionaries like people that are here to change the world for the better and especially with this lucky star energy like you guys are definitely stars i'm seeing that documentaries could be made about you you guys could be making environmental documentaries like i'm just seeing like this whole like mother nature sort of theme to this group like this is definitely my bimbo mother nature it's like you guys are so much our father nature or whatever batty nature you guys are such bimbo batty nature bitches over here and the world is just like really wanting to um amplify that green they just said so yeah like amplify your green like not only outside but on the abundance too i just see that like the more that you guys work with the environment the more that you guys use nature to your benefit the more that you are going to start to see luck on your side luck turn to your advantage to money multiplying more money coming in too yeah because i'm even seeing like one of the benefits of having a garden is the fact that like you have all this produce for free like you bought like i bought a tomato plant for four dollars but it gives me like a billion tomatoes and so it's like you know like i feel like and it's also cool because i get to pick them and i got to grow them and i got to see them grow you know so i feel like it's it's all of that it's like the all of the above why it's so beautiful to have a garden um but also like yeah just overall in life yes encouragement creativity inspiration after loss again you guys could have definitely gone through periods of loss periods where you guys maybe felt like you were losing out or like yeah especially with the inspiration after loss and like reflective epiphanies like you guys have definitely had multiple periods of time where you've really had to reflect and and um grow and heal from different situations but with this inspiration after loss i'm seeing that you guys maybe even could have recently gone through a period where it felt like the world was against you you know but i see that you guys are starting to find more inspiration and more encouragement a lot of that also could have to deal with you guys going on hikes sitting by streams sitting by the ocean going for walks on the beach um just all of that just connecting with nature smelling the flowers whenever you guys see any flowers ever like give them a good sniff because you know we're only on this planet for a very short period of time we might as well take all the time we can to smell the flowers and to really enjoy them but yes like i see that the more that you guys do this just kind of allow yourself that time to not only get in touch with nature but relax as well i just see that you guys are going to start to get more creative ideas and more inspiration that's just flowing to you yeah especially when it comes to like something that you guys could create or invent again there's like a huge emphasis on that like a business you guys could create an invention that you guys could create just something along those lines like you guys are so intelligent and so smart and something that's going to help a lot of people overall 
yeah, like I'm thinking of one of my baby bimbos in particular. She owns like a nonprofit that is like a little library for children. Um, and uh, and it's like a nonprofit. <laughs> and I just think that's the coolest thing ever. I was just, yeah, I was just thinking all about her um, and wishing her well in my mind. <laughs> but um, But yeah, I just think that's so cool that like, Literally, you guys just like take initiative. You just try new things. It's just one example of the fact that somebody, a bimbo, is out there not only dreaming about it, but making it happen and working for herself and doing it all. You guys can do it all. Take her, take me, take any of your favorite people out there as evidence that you can do it too. That you can do anything that you've put your fucking mind to. <laughs> yeah, as long as you stay authentic and you let yourself speak out too. Wow, okay, the Hierophant is here. So absolutely, you guys could have gone, grown up with tradition, grown up with certain cultural standards, certain cultural affiliations, just something that maybe dimmed your light too, um, or could have a little bit dimmed your light um but i definitely see that you guys are starting to see how you can use tradition maybe more to your advantage as well and seeing ways that you guys can maybe shake up the tradition or change the tradition a little bit or like change the outcome a little bit like you guys are definitely getting really really good at shaking things up and uh, like also sticking to like your cultural your creative like roots your traditional roots but still um being rebellious and taking new leaps and new bounds forward and yeah it's like it's almost like like it's like staying classy you guys need to stay classy like i'm saying like you guys could literally attend like the met gala and so like obviously you know to dress up to the met gala you know to wear a beautiful 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 absolutely stunning like dress or like sassy new creative quirky outfit to the met gala like you wouldn't just wear like a, a black skirt and a I don't know who knows like anybody can literally wear anything these days but I'm saying like something like boring like you wouldn't just wear like something boring because it's the Met Gala like that's your time to express yourself and get out there and so I'm seeing like that's how adaptable you guys are like you know what to wear to the right settings you know when to <laughs> like this one girl on TikTok, and I did not mean to offend anybody when I say this. Okay, maybe I'll just kind of like bleep myself. But she says, serve, see, what is that? See you next Tuesday. She says, serving, see you next Tuesday. Um, if anybody knows what I mean. And so you guys could absolutely just be like serving, see you next Tuesday in every single aspect of your life, okay? Like I definitely see you guys just doing that. I do that every single aspect of my life. I'm literally dressed, like I have a little Barbie top on and my baby fat um, pajama pants. I'm dressed like I'm having a slumber party and I'm wearing slippers too, but it's literally just a slumber party with you guys, <laughs> like that's it. But I think it's so cute, like it's literally just dressing for whatever kind of vibe that you want or whatever kind of um energy that you want which i don't know where that came from but yeah definitely start dressing as if as well i also got these snake cards so we're gonna be looking really intensely at this oh you guys got the snake charmers dance so yeah i definitely see that um you guys are very ooh influential with the gods yes see that influential with the gods the lucky star like a lot of people maybe see you as this very lucky individual or like you're very very more influential than i think you even give yourself credit for let that sink in for a second okay because i see that a lot of people watch you especially on social media on um like different platforms just in everyday life at your at your workplace wherever a lot of people not only see you, they hear you speak and then they're very inspired by what you do. Yeah, it's almost like, uh, like for an example, like say you started a compost bin and then you started talking about that like at work or whatever, you would probably have like at least a few more people that would be starting compost bins, <laughs> like just because of you and like your inspiring energy. So that's kind of what I'm picking up off of this is like you guys absolutely are just like way more influential than you even realize and you need to start using that bitch to your advantage like play the game okay like play the game because it's so worth it and you guys are going to end up wealthier than you can even imagine with awards with like opportunities so many opportunities in your career just everything push it bitches okay <clears throat> But for what your angels wanted you to hear today, we have Sisterhood of the Rose. So beauty, devotion, priestic, mystic, teacher, okay? Oh, priestess. 
mystic teacher. You guys are absolutely teachers on this environment. You guys are priests, priestess. Like you are here to like be changing the world one step at a time and being beautiful and being devoted to changing the world as well. Okay. Not always like focusing so much on the material side of things, but focusing on, okay, how can I influence people? How can I help mother nature today? How can I, you know, and I feel like, yeah, it's almost like, oh, I just heard the best quote the other day. This woman was like, you know, why are you all so focused on being pretty? If you spent all of that time that you spend worrying about being pretty as you did, drinking the right amount of water, washing your face, you know, putting on your lotion, doing all of your necessary steps, you would not even have time to think about, you know, whether or not you're pretty. And I kind of feel the same way about like material things. And this is something that I'm learning as well is to kind of take all the material things as little as you possibly can. Like all the material success, all of the numbers, all of the algorithms, all of that fuck shit. Take it as little as you need to, to survive, to get along. But then for the most part, shift your mentality to, okay, like what can I do to change the world today? How can I influence this in a different way? How can I influence mother nature in a positive way? How can I influence my coworkers? How can I get this new in thing at work implemented? You know, like all these different things rather than focusing on like, okay, the success of it or the non-success of it, like just keep going, just keep going, just keep pushing. And then, you know, there will be those times where you finally can like chill and just like really, really, I mean, obviously like celebrate yourself along the way, like have fun, do all that. But but try to fill up every single second of every single day with like, okay, how can I really change the world? You know, because that's what we're here to do. You know, like we're here to change the world. That's why we were blessed to put on this planet. Like it's such a tiny, 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 little teeny, tiny chance. It's like one in 400 trillion billionth gazillionth of a chance that we're even alive on this planet. Like seriously out of all of the things that could have gone wrong, <laughs> we're here right now. And so we might as well be using it to our advantage wherever you are in the world, wherever you are, you know, on this planet, even if you're up in the moon, whatever, like how can you be influencing and impacting the earth in a much better way, in a much better, greater way? And that's absolutely the theme of this beautiful bimbo group here. Let's get one more message for you guys with Bimbo Beats Radio. I'm gonna shuffle and let's see what messages come up for y'all today. Which by the way, if y'all ever wanna get into more of that beautiful bimbo energy, this playlist is the perfect way to do it. And of course it's linked down below, but let's shuffle this and see what comes up. We have Motorola, okay, yes. Yeah. So you guys definitely are like very busy. I could see that like, especially during the month of May or whenever you're watching this, like the next three months for you guys is going to be filling up. It's going to start picking up pace. It's going to start, there's going to be a lot of people contacting you, wanting your time, wanting your energy. And I really, really, really am challenging you guys to start really thinking about how every single opportunity that you take is shifting you in a new direction and like in like the craziest, most existential way possible. Like just for like a week or two, like don't go crazy about it. Like don't overthink it obviously, but just like try to like process that a little bit more like okay yeah I could go out with my friends or I could work on this project that I've been working on that's like that's really 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 something that I genuinely want to be doing you know and like try to let that like FOMO just slip aside <laughs> a little bit um yeah but especially with this Motorola like you guys are going to be hit up with a bunch of new opportunities a bunch of new people that want your time um yeah like a lot of new opportunities and I really really want you guys to start picking and choosing those opportunities with what is aligned in your best and highest good rather than okay this is just coming in let's go with this you know like really 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 be more selective and I think the more selective just like with partners with friends the more selective that you are the better quality options of opportunities of anything that's gonna start coming in here which I literally was just talking about in my dirty talk episode one which you guys might also want to talk about it's all about attracting your dream partner specifically how I attracted my sugar daddy so yes definitely check that out but I love you guys so fucking much from the bottom of my titty heart I'm praying that spice some clarity absolutely pick some more piles because you guys can you know you can have multiple sides of your bimbo personality okay there's a lot of different sides to you you're multi-layered you're like an onion like Shrek would say okay, okay I love you guys okay and I'll see you very very soon
Look, bye. Alrighty, hello to those of you who chose pile number three, this gorgeous little heart crystal. This is going to be your reading all about what kind of bimbo are you and what makes you so alluring? Let's get right into it though, especially with the smooth sailing in the clear. I definitely feel like you guys maybe are coming into this beautiful period of your life where it's like finally you can kind of relax and you don't have to work so hard to get what you want. Finally, it's like you are in this receptive era where everything is just flowing in for you guys so quickly, so easily. You can really just kind of sit back and let everything come to you. Finally, it's like more people might start doing the work for you as well. More people might... Um, like how should i say this like not like well kind of like doing the work for you like almost like um maybe getting a manager like a talent manager or something like that where you guys are finally like okay i don't have to work so hard at finding all of these gigs for myself like finally somebody else is doing this for me like you might be finding somebody that's going to help you out in that sense or somebody that's more of a mentor so that you guys know okay here is the exact next steps that I need to take in order to get my next goal. Here's what I need to do in order to get my next goal. Like you guys are definitely going to be welcoming in step after step after step. And it's finally like you get to kind of sit back, take a little bit of an easier break and just let the opportunities come to you. And then whenever you are like out there, you need to shine. That's when you'll do it. Kind of like Ariana Grande I'm seeing. Like literally everything for Ariana Grande just probably like flows in for her. Like obviously she's a very, very, very hard worker, okay? but the opportunities do come to her like this wicked position and everything but that does not mean that she does not have to work when she gets there she absolutely has to grind and work as hard as she possibly can to fulfill this already like insane um oh what's the word oh insane whatever person that we kind of basically expect her to be you know these expectations and so I feel like you guys are in this beautiful state right now where there's not a lot of people that are expecting a lot of you, but it's really, really your time to shine and to show people that like, okay, maybe they were underestimating you and maybe they were um, really kind of taking you for granted. Like I'm definitely seeing that this pile is going to be a star. Like you guys are definitely going to be shining and it's time that you kind of just allow these opportunities to come in for you. Obviously keep working hard, keep grinding, keep going towards things that you want but then really just, once they start coming in for you, take them and run with it, baby. Work, 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 work when you get the opportunities, okay? Work, 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 work. Okay, yeah, the strong woman. So you guys are definitely a very strong individual mentally. I feel like you guys have already been through so much. Maybe that's why it seems like you guys are smooth sailing in the clear all the time. Like you guys really do work for everything that you have. You're an extremely hard worker. I just heard extremely hard work ethic ambition ambition to the gods like you guys maybe even strive for more than what you guys can handle sometimes but you always end up getting it all done and finishing all of it like you guys are very on point on top of everything um but yeah i feel like because of this like you guys have really been through it and now you've come on on top like even even stronger than you've ever been before even stronger knowing how to deal with certain situations knowing how to push past certain situations knowing how to you know call back in your success, call back in your power, come back to yourself. Um, yeah, but you guys are definitely now this beautiful, strong individual, this strong individual that has been through it for sure, but has now come out on top. And again, it maybe seems like you guys are smooth sailing, but in reality, it's just because of your guys' grace, your elegance, the way that you handle everything makes it seem like it's nothing. But in reality, it's like 400,000 pounds, you know? Like I'm seeing like Hercules, like lifting like like a train up or whatever like it's no big deal i forget what he lifts up but like a train or like something up like it's no big deal but in reality like he has the strength of like a billion gods and if he if he was a human being like he would have had to work for that for years like and probably took some steroids but yeah <laughs> anyways let's keep going yes vulgar jealousy grief despair you guys definitely have a lot of jealousy a lot of evil eye that has been thrown at you guys throughout your life and i'm not saying this as a way to like scare you guys or anything because this is absolutely something that you guys have no problem handling it's like the bowl with the worm or whatever like you guys are like the bowl and other people are the worm like don't even try bitch like don't even try because you're not going to succeed and that's all that you need to know like don't even try 
especially with this jealousy. I just see that a lot of people have probably been in one-sided competitions with you throughout your entire life. Yeah, and I actually just had a thought today too about like Sharpay Evans from High School Musical and how, you know, like I definitely believe, believe that she was very underestimated. Um, Gabriella did come in and really took over the theater program, right? But also, you know, like Gabriella handled everything with grace all the time. Whereas like Sharpay was just kind of like a whining sore loser that constantly competed with Gabriella rather than trying to like boost her up. And in reality, like Gabriella was never ever ever competing with Sharpay. Like Gabriella had her own shit going on. She was just doing theater for the fuck of it, like for the fun of it. And she ended up being super, super talented and really, really, really good at it. And yeah, and so I feel like, you know, these one-sided competitions, these jealousies, like, only hurt the sender. They literally only hurt the person that is jealous. Like, rather than, like, growing from it and learning from it, you know? Because you guys have absolutely been jealous before in your life. But, but you guys, like, are like, okay, well, how can I be more like that person? Like, how can I be more like that? Like, how can I bring this in more? Rather than, like, okay, I... Oh, this person has what I ha don't have and I will never have that you know when in reality it's like we all have our own unique skills and our own unique attributes and everything that makes us so vibrant and so cool and if we all just leaned into that a little bit more we would all be the Gabriellas of the world okay <sighs> But yeah, y'all have definitely put up with a lot of different Sharpays in your life. Also, if you guys have never seen High School Musical, that's absolutely your homework assignment after this. <laughs> Just to see the type of bullshit that y'all be putting up with throughout your life. Because absolutely, you guys have met your fair share of Sharpays in your life. Like, your fair share of people who literally just like want to see your downfall just because it would make them feel better like that's it and that's so unhealthy i'm so happy that you guys have moved past so many of these people especially with the smooth sailing and the clear i'm getting that like at this point like you guys have literally none of them left like at this point like you guys are in the clear like you can finally go about going after your goals aspirations your dreams without feeling like these other motherfuckers like have any say or have any opinion because in reality like they just don't like they just don't. <laughs> like, no, okay? Um, yeah, vulgar, jealousy, grief, despair. Like, these people are really just causing their own grief, causing their own despair. And for what, bitch? Like, what's that even doing for you? <laughs> Nothing. Whereas my beautiful baby bimbo is like, all of that hatred, all of that negativity, you guys have found ways to convert it into power for yourself, to use it as power and as fuel to keep pushing forward and to keep growing and to keep being better and better and better. And these people just look at you and they're like, it's an anomaly. Like they're like, I could never. And it's like, yeah, bitch, you could never. And that's why you will never, okay? <laughs> Be like me, oh, okay, oh yes. And I forgot this one. I had two that came out and actually it had three okay one of them was like another page but I was like the fact that we had the emperor and the empress come out together like yes bitch we're taking both of them because I definitely see especially for this pile you guys have absolutely mastered both your divine masculine and your divine feminine you know your divine masculine side I feel like especially handles jealousy differently you know like it handles jealousy differently it sees it as something to strive to rather than something to be like jealous of you know like i wish i feel like your your divine masculine and feminine sides both can kind of deal with that but yeah but i feel like your divine masculine especially kind of pushes you more towards your goals and your aspirations and shows you you are a powerful person with or without this person with or without them shitting on you with or without them loving you with or without them hating you with or without them supporting you like it does not fucking matter whatever you are your own individual person and all the power that you have ever had and like not will ever have but most of the power that you have ever had has always come from yourself and you've always managed to get past these phases in your life and you will always manage to get past these phases in your life. like literally until you die you will consistently keep getting past these these negativities and these challenges and rising to the top and being this emperor being this empress yeah this group absolutely can be another one of my entrepreneurs like for sure you guys could own your own companies um when it comes to like empowering other people too um you guys are definitely very empowering you you're definitely very what is that like forthcoming i don't know i want to say forthcoming but yeah definitely this mad emperor 
empress duality like you can do both body you have both in you divine masculine and divine feminine and because of that i feel like that just makes you so much more powerful than anybody could ever even aspire to be we have these beautiful little snake pictures today um which luckily have like little things on the back um okay <laughs> yeah yeah sub order it's kind of interesting like you guys definitely could be like subs or like submissive individuals too um or like have been in the past but you've really like learned your power kind of similar to the last pal too you might want to check that out um but yeah it's just like anything that's thrown your way like look at how happy she is like even like handling these snakes like snakes are scary you know like we always say like snakes in the grass it's time to cut the lawn and i love that she's like okay i'm just gonna play with the snakes in the grass like oh my god that's kind of funny like you guys might like to kind of fuck around with people too like especially if you see that they're pressed like okay that's bad how should i say this like not like in a like i'm just gonna uh, with you but you guys like you guys definitely like to show off you like to look good and you like to you know like, maybe with some of your achievements, like, you guys have shown off a few of your achievements in the past. And then, like, yeah, you know what? I did it because of you, snakes. <laughs> I did it because of you, haters. Like, that's the reason why I did all this constructive, yeah, constructivity, constructive criticism. Because I'm literally seeing, like, the Amy's Baking Company. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that or seen it. Also, on top of um, High School Musical, that's another thing that you guys can watch after this. But, yeah, like, this woman and her husband, like, her husband basically just fed her all of this... This, these lies that she was doing great, that she was doing amazing. Meanwhile, customers were just trying to give her cr constructive criticism, and then she just started to blow up and get, like, super mad at them and, like, get super, super angry at them. And so that could have been you guys. Like, you guys could have taken that route where you just became more toxic because people were throwing toxicity your way. But instead, you guys decided, okay, these people are throwing toxicity in my way. I'm going to take the higher path. I'm going to take the higher route. And I'm, I'm going to, you know, maybe listen to some of this constructive criticism. But also take everything with a grain of salt and realize that people only say shit out of their own insecurities. They only say shit out of their own, you know, not only out of their own insecurities per se, but, but a lot of the time whenever they're trying to defer you or steer you away from doing something that's actually good for you, um... A lot of the time it's people talking out of their own fears, out of their own insecurities. And so that's what I feel like you guys have really been learning and trying to get away from and trying to recognize, okay, yeah, this person is just in a one-sided competition with me. Even though they're super hot and we could have been super hot together, like, they just don't have my best intentions. Yeah, and throw chakra blockages. So this might not always be something that people necessarily say straight up to you. This might not be something that people, like, are very upfront about, you know, the fact that they're evil or that they're malicious or that they're jealous or that they're in a one-sided competition because a lot of people don't even know that they are themselves or that they're making that up um but yeah I definitely feel like it's something to just kind of be aware of and like energetically whenever you're picking up on that to really really listen to that okay but let's keep going what your angels need you to hear for this bimbo season we have Emra Imrama Imrama where are you being called to journey to? Ooh, okay, yeah. So this is really cool, especially because you guys are finally in this, like, smooth sailing in the clear. You might just have a lot of your own defenses up, your own blocks up that are kind of maybe blocking you from your from opportunities that are really, really, really trying to move you forward into the future. You guys could be getting in your own way when it comes to a career, starting a new opportunity, starting a new YouTube channel I just heard, too. Um... Yeah, like you guys are definitely being called to journey to some place and you really need to lean into that and listen to that because I feel like it's really going to be guiding you in this beautiful direction towards like more of your higher purpose in life. Yeah. Whew. And especially like where are you guys being called to? Like I really just want you guys to think about that maybe for a second here. Intuitively. If you guys did the um, meditation, you guys could have literally already picked up on some of those intuitions too, as to like those baby steps like we were talking about. If you guys skip the meditation, go the fuck back and do it, bitch, <laughs> because it'll definitely help you. Or maybe you guys already have that beautiful, strong intuition. You don't even need to. And you guys are just like, yep, I already know the next steps. I already know the next baby steps. I know where I'm being called to. I have been stepping in my own way and it's about damn time that I get the fuck out because I'm ready to move, bitch. And you guys are finally in this very clear state, this clear, crystal clear state, the state where you guys can finally 
just recede. So yeah, this toxicity, like you've mastered it. You've learned how to adapt to it and yeah, bitches, lean into it more, okay? But I'm gonna shuffle this and let's see what music comes up for you guys. Bimbo Beats, check it out, get more in your vibe. I'm So Hot by Chrissy Shilpeka, yes. Loving yourself more, loving yourself more, loving on yourself more, raising your standards, um, realizing that, you know, the opportunities, while they may be few and far between, um, especially the good quality ones, but especially when they first start coming in here, the more that you start accepting those few and far between ones and kind of rejecting anything that's not aligned with you, that's just going to like propel you more and more and more forward rather than like doing a bunch of side quests as well, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, like you guys could just keep following the main story. You could do some side quests, you know? Yeah, but keep going forward and following yourself, trusting your own intuition, spending time with yourself, raising your standards and yeah, leaning into your power, baby, because you're so fucking powerful. <laughs> okay, but I love you guys so much from the bottom of my titty heart. I'm praying that this brought you all some clarity, and I'll see y'all very, very soon, okay? Mwah! Goodbye! Alrighty, hello to those of you who chose pile number four, this beautiful Rosetta Quartz Crystal. This is going to be your reading all about what kind of bimbo are you, what makes you so alluring. Starting off... This is actually so funny because I literally just mentioned this card in the last pile. It was at the way end, so it transitioned so perfectly. And of course, you guys are absolutely heightening your standards, welcoming in more me time for yourself, really leaning into that I'm so hot, Chrissy Schlepeka kind of energy, really accepting only the opportunities that are meeting your highest and best good, your highest and best standards or even succeeding them. That's the only only time that you guys are really accepting opportunities and welcoming in this new energy which is so good for you guys especially with this me time kind of energy I see that you guys are yeah spending a lot more time with yourself getting to know yourself a lot more your triggers you know maybe more of your like getting to know like your mental health a little bit better um, how you can make yourself a lot more happier like I'm just seeing that you guys are spending a lot more time with yourself and getting to know exactly what you need in this world and in this lifetime what will make you guys feel better and yes this is a cute little vibrator <laughs> toy on there as well you guys could be investing in um, something that brings your life a lot more pleasure too. It doesn't necessarily have to be a vibrator. It could be something like um, a new pair of shoes that's better for running in, um, some pillows that feel better on your head for sleeping, something that's like genuinely going to um, really improve your life significantly that's focused on yourself and your own relaxation and your own healing as well. Maybe that's even therapy, going to therapy, getting yourself better help little lessons here and there. Um, but yeah, anything that's really beneficial to yourself and anything that's not really beneficial to yourself, you're really weeding out and getting better at heightening those beautiful standards. Ooh, and I see like a reflection of a rainbow on my wall back here. So you guys could be leaning more into your authenticity. Um, yeah, I'm seeing like LGBTQ. You guys could definitely be the bimbo LGBTQ of the group. You guys definitely, um, even if you're like an ally as well, like A, definitely leading, guiding, um, leading into this beautiful rainbow energy. Yeah, you guys could be seeing a lot of rainbows as well, which is actually a beautiful sign from your spirit guides that you're doing a great job. Um, you guys might be seeing a lot more rainbows after this reading too, now that you know what a rainbow means. So then you guys can kind of claim that as one of your signs as well. But yeah, your spirit guides are definitely trying to tell you that you're doing a great job, especially at um, accepting higher standards for yourself. Just like kind of like I was discussing in the last pile, um, you know, they may be fewer and far between, but they are there. And the more that you start accepting those, the better quality things that you're going to start bringing in as well. So definitely leaning into this beautiful me time heightening standards energy. Oh my God. And then the snake charmer, which we were literally kind of talking about in the last pile as well. You guys might definitely want to watch the last pile and kind of use it as an extension, as an extended reading, or just pick multiple piles overall. You guys are definitely in this mad snake charmer energy. You guys are definitely very charming as well. I see that the more sp time that you spend on perfecting yourself, acting more in your highest good, your highest power, um, making yourself happy, making yourself feel more fulfilled, 
the more that you will be able to feel fulfilled about other people's circumstances, the more happier that you'll feel and the more content that you'll feel overall. And I feel like the more charming that you'll be to other people too because more people will want to be around you the more content that you are with the space that you're in as well. This beautiful Think Charming energy, I'm actually going to look up and see what else they would like to say about it. Yeah, even if you're not carrying a snake on your shoulders, the snake charmer reminds you to face your fears and look inward to find confidence and strength when all eyes are on you. Yeah, so you guys could definitely have a lot of eyes on you. You guys could be in the public eye, in the public audience, have a lot of um, subscribers. You guys could be a literal celebrity too. Shout out to my celebrities out there. I would really like to be a celebrity tarot card reader. You know, I think that that would be such a dream job for me. That would be so cool. But yeah, especially with like the snake charmer energy, like you guys are really being asked to face your fears. And I definitely feel like these bimbos overall are very rebellious and very into facing your fear fears, very into the uncomfortable because you recognize that it's going to bring in so much more cool stuff. And it's only going to feel more comfortable the more that you do it too. So like being in the public eye, maybe it was something that you guys were not used to at first, something that made you very uncomfortable. You guys could have had stage fright or just a lot of anxiety that has led to, you know, um, a weakening of your confidence over time but I feel like you guys have definitely had a, like are starting to heighten your confidence or have went through this mad journey when it comes to your confidence and its development especially due to maybe mental health issues like anxiety or depression that kind of can steer you down other paths you know especially with like this me time and heightening standards I feel like that's what you guys have really gone through is putting more of that energy into yourself you know maybe getting therapy maybe like just as an example say you have anxiety and so your anxious thoughts kind of lead you down this spiral and then your confidence is just hitting rock bottom right but then you start going to therapy or you start taking medication you start finding the right coping mechanisms for yourself even if it's not medication whatever it is for you um you start finding those right coping mechanisms, you start utilizing those, your anxiety starts dissipating, your confidence starts growing and growing and growing. And so the more that you kind of lean into those heightening of standards, that me time, facing your fears, facing the things that challenge you, you know, leaning into the uncomfortable rather than staying far away from it and you know only touching it with a stick. Like I feel like leaning into this uncomfortable, this negative feelings, you know, has only made you guys into a much better and beautiful or human being. Like you guys are very, very close. Like if not already on point with your highest self, if not already succeeding that, excelling that. Um, but I feel like you guys still obviously, as all of us humans do, have a lot of learning and a lot of growing to do. But when it comes to your confidence, like you guys are definitely a completely different person than you used to be when it comes to who you are today. And especially if people that knew you way back when you were this like maybe anxious person or just this less confident person overall would not even recognize you if they saw you today because of the amount of unmatched confidence. Yeah, like I'm seeing um this guy from Mean Girls. His name's Damien. He's like so he's confident. He is like he's queer, so he's a little bit like um underrated by a lot of people and but he's still confident in himself and he still is very secure with himself and authentic to himself and I think that's so so cool and the reason why I'm bringing that up too is because I actually like started a discord and some of my baby bimbos like I sent this quiz over um that literally compares you to every like a bunch of different people in fic fictitious things like fictional movies like Game of Thrones, anime, um, Harry Potter, Star Wars, like it literally compares you to a bunch of those different characters and then ranks who you're most alike and one of the baby bimbos in the discord got Damien and so that's what kind of makes me think of is that you guys are in that similar energy like that similar confident um you know underrated kind of person like you guys are significantly underrated and I feel like the more that you challenge yourself and push yourself into this uncomfortable push yourself into this this kind of like maybe scary situations like I'm seeing that even if you have crowd anxiety like pushing yourself to try to go out into a crowd for just like a little bit even if you stay on the outskirts of it or finding ways to be comfortable in a crowd you know it's all about finding ways to be un comfortable in the uncomfortable you know so I feel like you guys have definitely been mastering that 
we have forget me not true love remember me and respect so absolutely you guys are completely unforgettable anybody that ever meets you literally will remember you forever i don't know if it's something about you guys having like a unique name just definitely a unique personality overall having like this very like persona like you guys are this main character like you guys definitely are this mad main character and pe people are just like they cannot forget you once they meet you they cannot forget you they cannot forget your authenticity the way that you carry yourself your charm they just you're just mesmerizing like you really 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 just are mesmerizing and i'm getting that you guys could definitely get a lot like pretty privilege or get a lot of opportunities because you guys are very just successful overall already <laughs> Um, we also have the Knight of Wands here. So very passionate. Also, you guys could be fire signs. You don't have to be. You just kind of have that fire, that drive. You might have a lot of people that are very physically attracted to you as well. Just because of the way that you are. You're just a very physically attractive baby bimbo. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with your radiant aura. Like the fact that you've done so much work on yourself. So much work on your shadow sides. So much work on heightening your standards. Um, accepting more for yourself. Doing therapy, whatever. Like you guys are just that much more attractive and that much more alluring. I feel like it's because you guys have done the work. Like, you're not a project that somebody has to come in and work on. Like, you're you're already made. Like, you're already just like, I'm here. <laughs> I'm, I'm thriving. Like, I'm literally this bitch. I'm the snake charmer. And like, you know, come in. <laughs> like, come have some fun. This beat is sick. This beat is sick. I want to take a ride on your disco stick. Like, you guys are just super, super, super fun. Very alluring very passionate too i'm getting especially towards the things that you're driven towards the goals that you're going after like you guys just have a lot of fat passion a lot of fire and um oh my gosh my stomach is growling right now you probably heard that somebody's eating <laughs> i literally always call out whenever somebody's eating like people are literally taking a bite like whenever my stomach growls so that's really funny um but yeah like i'm definitely see that like you guys just have this mad passion towards whatever like goals that you're going towards obviously this is a general reading so i can't be completely specific here but um but it's almost like you can literally talk people's ears off like about and that's not a bad thing either like you guys could literally ele elevator pitch like you guys could be very very good at pitching to people like your ideas your inspiration you're very good at storytelling too i just heard too so you could be really good at having like a podcast or something like that too people just love to listen to you speak people love to hear you your thoughts your opinions on the matters just the fact that you guys are so charming like they just cannot get over it and you're completely unforgettable because of that too true love a lot of people think that you're their soulmate too <laughs> especially with this true love kind of energy coming in here and a lot of people definitely have a lot of respect for you too they they really respect uh the person that you kind of turned out to be you might be a very well respected person in your field as well already and like you're just gonna get even more respect over time yeah, you can see this woman is, like, laying with lingerie and this snake. I pulled out these snake cards as well. Um, yeah, nine foot long Tracy Charming, a nine foot long python serpent. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. Tracy the Snake Charmer. Isn't that so funny? Because, like, not all of these have that name on here. So the fact that you guys, like, literally got two things that say the snake charmer that really blows my mind um but yeah you guys are absolutely this mad snake charmer like you know how to kind of like charm the snakes like even like the negative people like you know how to kind of like charm them and get what you want just a little bit you know like the bimbo way like you know how to just kind of get what you want um lay with the snakes they just said so yes yeah, so you could you could have laid with the snakes in the past too to kind of build your way up too yeah even if that means, like, just getting on their level or whatever, like, you guys have definitely leveled with some snakes before to kind of get what you want. You guys definitely might use your privi pretty pl privilege, blah, if I can even speak, to get what you want. Yeah, because I'm definitely getting, especially, I just stuttered a bunch there. People have a hard time speaking around you, have a hard time um, maybe even approaching you because of that air of intimidation. You guys are very intimidating. You carry yourself just so well. It's, yeah. And whenever people hear you, like, speaking about your passions, I feel like that makes you this that much more attractive and, like, that much more bimbo-y. So what kind of bimbo are you? You're absolutely the snake charmer, the one who has heightened your standards after all of this time and really just channeled your power and 
have a lot more me time, a lot more respect for yourself too. I feel like you respect yourself more than a lot of people, as you should. Like you guys are just very respectful towards yourself and I feel like that's really the biggest thing. That's why so many people respect you. It's because you, you show yourself that, that level of gratitude. You know, like some people out there like to get bitchy or think it's mean to kind of like put people in their place. But especially when it comes to like their respect and their respect towards you, it's okay to kind of, you know, be a bitch, especially when you have to be. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, definitely show some support towards Bee's Honey Tarot. She went through something really, really, really horrific recently, but she used it as a way to kind of teach people that no matter what, there's always going to be evil humans around you that are going to prey on the weak and so it's better to be a strong powerful independent bitch than it is to be a weak person that's you know taking advantage of that can put you in a lot more scary situations than being a bitch can so so be a bitch when you need to be absolutely and after this please make sure to go send some love and send some support to beast honey tarot you guys because she definitely can use some healing thoughts and prayers and some love right now because she is such a strong and a powerful 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 human um yes but anyways let's move on to what you need to hear right now Ooh, we have the crumbling yeah so any of these like any of these thoughts that are not towards respecting yourself are falling away like i'm seeing like you guys are really yes oh my god and i've been hearing the song you guys absolutely after this need to go listen to um i think it's called light or something by casey musgraves or like the light I'm gonna look it up right now if I, oh, there's my phone. I need to start like moving my phone away from me like even more so than I'm already doing. You guys might relate with that too. Just like getting off your phone more. But yeah, so it's a song by Casey Musgraves and it's all about the fact that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It is called There Is A Light. Okay, yeah, by Casey Musgraves. So this is so, oh here. I almost had my sound on too. Spirit guides really stopped me there. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> There is a light by Casey Musgraves, and that's kind of what I feel for you guys. Like, what are you guys still clinging on to? What are these beliefs? What are these things that are no longer serving you that you need to just start leaving behind? Yeah, especially when it comes to heightened standards me time, you know, especially when it comes to partners, friends, who you're surrounding yourself with. Because whoever you're surrounding yourself with is an exact replication or reflection of your environment, and that's an exact re reflection of who you're going to be too. So definitely keep that in mind because people influence you whether you like it or not. Like subconsciously, they absolutely will. So it's definitely good to keep your shit moving, especially with the crumbling here. Like and that song, like there is a light at the end. My stomach's really growling here. I'm definitely going to need to go get some food after this. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And um, you guys definitely could have gone through a period of your life, especially recently, especially with Mercury retrograde, where there could have been people that have been falling off your path, partners that have been falling off your path, blocking you, you know, um, blocking old people, blocking friends, whatever the fuck. I definitely just see you guys like starting to fall away from all of it, even if it's like a gentle release too, even if it's not like a hardcore, like, okay, I'm not going to talk to you, even if it's like gently like i'm just gonna move away from you like i definitely see that you guys are taking steps to do that and because of that you're starting to see this gorgeous light at the end of your tunnel it's like finally all of this shit wasn't for nothing <laughs> like finally you guys are starting to see results okay and i just did this too so and i had a throat chakra blockage as i made this hand symbol and as i did this so yeah there could definitely be people you know from your past, whatever, that it maybe held back more feelings than they have let on to. Maybe made it feel like you were crazy or made it feel like, you know, like they didn't have as many feelings for you or whatever, that they actually did, but but they did. And you're not crazy. And just know that you, this person just was not meant for you. They're not on the same psychic level as you are right now. I don't know who needed to hear that, but somebody did. So just keep your stuff moving. Know that you are loved. Know that I love you. Know that you have a whole community of people here that you can always, always, always come to. Always ask for help and advice. And that you are very well respected and very much so loved here. Okay, but let's end off with our song. I feel like I'm just going to leave it with There Is A Light because I really, really, really want you guys to go listen to this. Like, this is such a beautiful song. Look at how free she looks in this too. Like, you can just tell. 
like she's ascended and that's kind of the vibe of this pile like you guys have absolutely ascended and the more that you keep sticking to this ascension and accepting only the heightened standards and accepting the, the few and the far in between limited opportunities but unlimited opportunities actually limitless they're going to start pouring in and pouring in and pouring in more and more and more the more that you start accepting them um that's it like it, it's just you're going to start to see more of the light at the end of the tunnel and it's happening it's happening and I promise you guys, like, you will hear this song starting to come in your head, like, out of the blue. You guys can see my cute, hot little Prada background there, too. The more that you guys, like, listen to the song, I definitely vibe with, like, you guys are going to start hearing it, and you're going to start seeing it, and you're going to start seeing the light, and you're going to start seeing it amplify and amplify and get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But you just have to keep going for that and heightening your standards and living up to those standards and not accepting anything less than that. But yes, my beautiful baby bimbos, I love you all so, so, so much from the bottom of my titty heart. I'm praying that it's brought you some clarity and I will see y'all very, very soon, okay? Yeah. Goodbye. Alrighty, last but certainly not least, to those of you who chose pile number five, this is going to be your reading all about what kind of bimbo are you? Bitches, I'm already getting that y'all are definitely the dominating daddy bitches of the universe especially with this bdsm harness energy you guys are not afraid to inflict a little pain here and there especially if it means getting what you want and especially when it comes to your guys's lifetime i definitely see especially with harness you guys have been able to harness a lot more of your personal power put a lot more of your personal power into the everyday yeah yeah and it's like like harness more of your own energy and not give it away to so many people too that's what i just heard too like kind of protect yourself in like the best way possible which if you guys have some methods of protecting whether that be with crystals or meditations affirmations spells whatever the fuck please leave them down below i'm always about spreading those um beautiful beautiful protective energies especially around this channel so Yes, and with the BDSM here, like, I just see that you guys are so dominating, like, so dominating. It's very, very intimidating to approach you guys, like, especially when it comes to the era of intimidation, like, you guys are masters of it. Like, it's so hard to understand. It's so hard to read you. That's what I heard. It's hard to read you. It's so hard to know, like, what your truest intentions are, like, what you're really going for here. And, yeah, it's just so, so, so hard to read you. That's what I keep hearing. Like, you guys are very mysterious, but in the best ways. It's, like, to protect your own energy. It's to protect yourself. And you guys are doing a great, great job of it. Yes, let's keep going, though. Yes, okay, we have the forest fairy for this group. So you guys could definitely be also into nature, kind of spicing up the different areas of your life. You could be very called to pile number one or two. Definitely pick multiple piles as well, just because I see that there are a lot of different sides to each one of you. And the more piles that you pick, I feel like the more customized of the reading could be to yourself. So yes, but with the forest fairy here, you guys are very into nature, natural healing, natural ways of doing things. Could be like medicine as well. I just heard like natural medicinal healing too. You guys are very into the natural properties of these different herbs and things. Like you guys are very witchy when it comes to like your herb practices, your herb remedies or whatever. <laughs> like you guys are definitely very witchy. I'm seeing like you guys could be like kitchen witches as well or just like something like that green witches kitchen witches like people that really like to use nature and use like creativity cooking as ways to implement your witchcraft in your everyday life so if that's something that you're interested in definitely look more into that but yeah i'm seeing that you guys are definitely this mad forest fairy you might like to um have a lot of flowers around your house wear a lot of flowers on your body um even if that's like perfume wise too like you guys just smell really good you look really good um you're just this beautiful beautiful radiant forest fairy somebody that a lot of people want to talk to i'm seeing that you guys could wear like glitter on your face too like me like i like to have a little gl glitter freckle moment such a vibe um but yeah, like you guys are definitely very sweet natured, but don't fuck with you because you're definitely not somebody to be fucked with. You guys are very dominating. Um, I, I see that you guys use empathy though to like lead other people. You're a very empathetic person. You'll always try to hear out other people, other sides of the story. But you know that like at the end of the day, like you trust your intuition and you know that you're like, like you're right, you know? 
<laughs> like people people trust your opinion because they know that you're always like considering every single different aspect of the situation you're not just like considering like your best friend's side like you're trying to see like everybody's perspectives um yeah you're just a very like wholesome well-rounded individual extremely empathetic and you use your empathy in a lot of different ways than one in your life even though you're very dominant you know when to be dominant and you know when to sort of like submit and sort of just kind of like sit back and okay i'm gonna observe i'm gonna see what's going on here i'm gonna take some notes i'm gonna learn and then i'm gonna go and i'm gonna master this and then i'm gonna teach other people and then i'm gonna learn and i'm gonna master and then i'm gonna teach yeah i just read the book the archer um by Paulo, oh my god, I always mess up his name. The same person that wrote The Alchemist. It's called, it's this very, 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 very short read called The Alchemist. You could read it in one day. I'm serious, guys. Like, all the pages have, like, a paragraph on them. So, and there's a lot of pictures. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. But it's all about, like, being an archer in your everyday life. And I see that you guys are absolutely this beautiful, wonderful archer. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think of what specific part of the book the archer that i was just thinking of but yeah it could just be like yeah like there's a lot of different like parts of the bow right and i don't know anyways you might just want to look at that book because i can't really fucking think of a specific part but basically the entire book very 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 quick read you can get it done in one day so worth it check it out from your local library go off fatties Let's keep going. Yes, yeah, stupidity, foolishness, folly. There we go. Yeah. Oh my god, and I'm already gonna flip this one other too because it's so funny how we have two things that say like foolishness, fool. Yeah, I definitely got mad, hopeless, romantic vibes from this group for sure. This is absolutely my romance of the century kind of bimbos. Like you guys love romances, rom coms, everything to do with falling in love. That is your go to. You love to romanticize life as well, make every single second very romantic. Yeah, I'm seeing this group too. Like, you guys could definitely like to turn on that music whenever you're cooking, or you just really like to. Yeah, I'm seeing another thing that I do where, like, whenever I'm playing video games, this is so nerdy, but whatever. It's not very, it's whatever. But whenever I'm playing video games, I like to put on music in, like, the background to make it, like, my own story, you know? Like, even if it's the same old storyline that, like, has probably been played a million times over, like, I want to make it unique to myself. So, like, I'll play, like, I'll shuffle play Love Radio in the background. I'll, like, shuffle play Bumble Beats in the background just to make it, like, my own movie. I actually just made this new playlist, too. It's called Lust for Life, and, like, all the lyrics are made for you guys to just, like, scream in your car, like, with the windows down. Like, it's just so freeing. Um... But it's also such, like, a good, like, main character movie, like, soundtrack, for sure. Like, the self-discovery. Just, like, everything about it. It's called Lust for Life. It's so good. Such a good playlist. Um, but, yeah. I definitely just see that, like, that's you guys. Like, you guys romanticize every single second of your life. You love to make every single second as if you are that main character. Live every single second as if you are that main character body bitch because you are. Live in your own story. Especially when it comes to your love life. I'm getting, like, a lot of people might want to listen in on it kind of like gossip girl like these bitches always just want to know what the fuck is up with your love life because it's always popping like you always have new options you have new like dates that you're going on new experiences new even if the dates are like weird and wacky like it's still something for you guys to talk about like i'm seriously seeing that like some of you guys could have like your own podcast or like a book or something where you just discuss like your different romance experiences and people are like what the fuck like this is so wild um yeah like you guys are just so dominating um I feel like when it comes to like getting romantic options too you guys have no problem like asking people out yourself like male female whoever you are in between whatever you guys have no issue just getting up there and being like yo I want to date you like look, take me out like let's go like when are you free this six o'clock right now let's go like you guys like literally do not sit around and like wait for shit to happen you make that shit happen like you bitches are the main characters okay and if somebody's not moving you're gonna make a move and if they're still resisting you're gonna keep moving because this person ain't coming with you like that's kind of the vibe like you guys just know how to like romanticize every single aspect of your life yeah I'm seeing that you guys could also like unintentionally or intentionally attract a lot of drama as well. Yeah, and especially looking at your picture of this lady like with the snake, like she looks like old Hollywood glamour. Like she's wearing the snake around her neck like it's a feather boa, like rather than like a snake, you know? Like you guys are so elegant, so charming. You know how to carry yourself so well. Yeah, you're very glamorous. 
Yeah, in front of a traveling coach. You guys could definitely be mad travelers too. Have this travel bug energy. You want to get out, experience new people, sex in the city kind of vibes where you want to date around. You want to look really hot. You want to explore new locations like or live in a big city like that and work and like be that working bitch but then be like oh my god I have no time for romance and then like meet somebody in like an elevator like I totally see you guys living out like these like oh what the fuck is that Hallmark movies like you guys are so much like an IRL Hallmark or rom-com movie like a 13 going on 30 like super super cheesy super like self-discovery but romantic kind of movie all together like that's absolutely you guys you guys could definitely be into that style of book too i'm just getting into that type of book and okay this is kind of a funny story i'll make it quick i promise but i was like scouring the uh library my local library and i was looking through all the books and i was like i just want a book that makes me feel like you know she's a gardening beautiful bitch like she's gardening like I smell the fruit you know whatever or I smell the air that she's in but she's a corporate baddie bitch but she's trying to leave that lifestyle behind and then I kid you guys not I came across a book that is exactly like that it was called like spring springtime first kiss or like something like that and I was like okay we're, we're on to something with the springtime you know there's gonna be plants in this and so then I started to read the back of it and it literally said a corporate woman who climbs ladder and I was like are you shitting me okay we're getting this so like that's kind of vibe like you guys might like literally start manifesting like better like romance books for yourself too you guys might actually be authors of romance novels as well that might be slightly based off of your life i won't tell anybody <laughs> but yeah like you could be like basing it kind of off of that or like screenplay writers movie directors actresses like whatever like you guys are definitely meant to be like stars in your own way and also like like very very famous <laughs> but also like like romantic as hell like you guys love life it's absolutely something to be so envied over because it's just so full of exciting and new experiences yeah but let's see what your angels want you to hear right now we have pleiades okay so a double mission channeling and uplifting humanity yeah so not only are you guys living this like romantic, bimbo-y, fun life for yourself, but you're also inspiring everybody around you and you're uplifting a bunch of people around you and showing them that, you know, they can have this crazy love life too or they can be the main character too. It's all about them. Everybody's individual story is so unique and it's so beautiful and not all of us are going to be living the exact same life. So it's definitely important for us to be encouraging other people's uniqueness and other people's creativity and showing them that they can have a beautiful life much like our own, but in their own unique and beautiful way too, that they don't have to be envious or jealous of anything, you know, especially of you guys, because obviously I feel like similar to the last pile, y'all are definitely going to, like this pile is basically like, all of them but like you know combined like you guys are definitely farther along on the timeline too like especially when it comes to your spiritual growth your spiritual learning like you guys are just really 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 popping off and you're starting to inspire a lot more people too i just saw one two 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 as well and then four four so you guys gonna be seeing four 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 two 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 like one two 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 as well I'll have to look that up and see what that means. But yeah, like you guys are definitely on this double mission. I feel like that's what your angels really want you to be aware of right now. That you're not just inspiring yourself by living out this beautiful main character life. But you're inspiring everybody around you and future generations to come. So keep it up. You're uplifting a lot of people. You're showing them the beautiful positive side of, you know, humanity, our live everything. Like you guys are just, you guys are boss queen baddie bitches and i love you all so 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 much okay but let's move on to bimbo beast radio we'll get one more message for you guys today as you can probably tell i'm like draining out here so we're gonna go up yeah some people want more detail too and i'm like oh, bitch at the end of this i'm like pulling myself out of this chair like it is not fun <laughs> yeah it's, being a psychic is a lot more work than i think other people think because it literally just looks like we're sitting here and talking but in reality it's like oh my god my brain is hurting so bad right now <laughs> okay but we're gonna keep going with the treat me like a slut that's absolutely your bimbo beat song this is the anthem of the channel by kim petras it's so hot like literally this is the hottest fucking song you guys absolutely are down to be like treated like a little bit of a slut whenever you want to be you know i feel like slut in my 
vocabulary on this channel is such a good term like it's absolutely a term of endearment it is never something bad like you guys uh, yeah you guys if you're being called a slut it means that you're doing something right okay it means that you're making people like mad pressed but it's for the right reasons okay yeah and especially with this pleiades like you're here for other reasons that these people that maybe call you these names or that put these negative vibes on you they will never ever ever understand and it's better to like not waste your time trying to get them to understand it's better to spend your time on something that's actually going to forward your life right whether that be writing your romance novel whether that be applying for that movie that seems like kind of a cool idea or whether that be you know working your way up in the corporate ladder like you baddie bitches are out here on bigger missions oh that ride too um then these motherfuckers could even wish up so keep doing you you're doing a great job i love you all so much i think that was my first swear of the day i did so good with the f word okay but i love you guys and i will see you very very soon okay Bye.